We are checking the heads for flatness. Yeah, well, we already know it's not flat, so but we can live with it. Okay. Here you go. That's why it was so dirty. It was on top of that one. How's that look? Oh, uh, like crap. Yeah, it's relatively flat. A little bit low through here. Mm -hmm. Here's some warpage on that. Some what? Some warpage. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got something way over here in the middle. An ugly wheel. Yeah, I know. I was trying to work on that. I was supposed to work on that. Somebody got jumped in the middle. Is there any way of doing something like hold something down with this thing? Hmm. I think I take this and move it. Looks heavy. Dropped it on your foot? No. Sure? Yes. Okay, this is a semi flat plate. Not totally flat, but semi flat. If there's some way of holding this thing down on top of that plate, I can cut this. Look at that. That's the first good sound we have right there. You notice how that goes in there? Mm hmm See, if it didn't clear that big piece of crap right there. See that? It's a good thing these sports have a lot of holes right there. Look at the size of that. Your mm -hmm. light's off again. You can't see. That means I can take this, go like that, and we have a clamp. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost like it's made for it. Is it? Almost. Almost. What about that side? Got something to hold on? Yeah, look, we got something to hold on that side, too. Look at that. Oh, we got one of these. Now this isn't perfect at flat because it's just a, yeah, oh no, it varies slightly, but it's close enough probably for your application. What's your application? Going fast. That's it. What's nice about this is it doesn't break the setup, so I can come back and work on my other stuff. Look at that. Pretty good stuff, I'm still here. Show the answer? Yes. Hello. Yep. No, I'm here. Okay. Bye. It's early. It's only 10 30 or 11, right? Um, I don't know. I don't have a watch on. There's a clock down there. Uh, you don't break that. I put that there so you wouldn't trip on it. I guess you need to put it someplace else. It's 10.30. 7.30. 10.30. 10.30. The clock right. That one's... Oh, that one's right. 10.28. Yahoo. Who put this wheel in the way? Me. Someone said my mill was too big. Uh, my mill cutter. Well, Not they're the just machine. jealous. Not the building machine, just the mill cutter. They're just jealous. Is that what it was? Yeah. 
Here's we gotta go up a little higher. Sportster Envy. Somebody said I need to put an electric grill on this too. I'm gonna get my exercise in. It's CrossFit. It's pretty good, huh? <laughs> For all you CrossFitters. Come over, do it over here. All right. They put it to a thou, to a thou. The they, height. They can if they train hard enough. If they train hard, what they train less. Okay, how flat is this? Sort of flat. I don't know. We need to check it before I put it in there. See, this rotates. Probably should lock it down. There, there's one. Here's yeah, locked. I got the new cutter in there too that I was using. Floppy metal. You can use that tripod over there, hold it if you want to. That's a good idea. Then I won't be kicking it over. Yeah, I know. You'll probably still kick it over though. But, but now it'll have a camera on it. Oh, there you go. Right there. Appears to be 75 where it hits. Make it zero. Actually, I have to make it about there. Okay. Just gonna go boom, 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 and cut that lip right off of there. Maybe. speed are we going to go? Fast. Fast? Oh shit. So not 68, 65? Yeah. We're going to go faster.
Yep. Appears to be a smidgen off. You know how much a smidgen is? Uh, a tenth of a, a tenth of a hair. You off by about that much. Mm -hmm. See the air over there? The air? Yeah, the camera's a little low, you can't see nothing over there. I think we should get Tetro a selfie stick. No. No, don't need one. I'm going there for some reason. I stole my flashlight again. Still got one left. I think we'll get flashlights. This is the shop bird view. Shop bird. Uh, Fred calls that airplane view. You behind the times. There we go. Appears to not be flat now. Chip got in there. What do you think? What happened? The chip got in there. There's a little chip in there. Yeah, see that's not flat right now. Mm-hmm. Flat it out. Chip is gone. Chip ahoy is gone. Let's get on the next plane. Chip is gone. He left. Let's get the next plane over. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove that thing in there. She's flat now. Okay. So what I do? You made it flat. I put a shim in there. A shim? Okay. Not a chip, a shell. I shim. took the shim out. There was a chip in there which made it unflat. And I'll put a shim in there to make it flat. Okay. So we took that uh, one and a half dial shim, we stuck it over there along that rocker box line. It's right over here. Mm -hmm. It's going to pivot off the mark way over here on the rocker box. It's going to come up this way, which should make it start cutting here instead of right along this edge right here. Mm -hmm. See that edge right there where it's cutting? Yep. So you know, we want to cut over here. You don't need to be that close. Okay. You can see it just fine from that angle. Okay. Okay, now I have to change this angle here, the height. I can go back and see what happens. So see that mark right there? We gotta yep. find out if it's got hit on that again. I just have something to tell me that. Is that too close? Yeah, that's close enough. All right.
your hand near that when it's running. Don't? No, it'll still take your finger off when it gets caught right there. Okay, so see how now it's it's low here, but it was cutting here, cutting mm -hmm. here. Got a little bit deeper on this side, but it's it picked up all this extra area. So it's still about a half dial low over here at most. But this head's warped right through here. Probably because of overheating conditions by caused by aluminum motors that have thin ass aluminum parts on them. Mm -hmm. Instead of big thick ass iron stuff that doesn't warp. Okay, so we're gonna take a probably about two thou off of this thing and it might clean up enough to run it. It'll probably take three. We'll try two. So right now we're at uh, we're basically one under right here. So we're gonna go to one over. So that's two point two thou right there. Cutting oil in there. Called honing oil. See? Honing oil. High sulfur. Yes, very high sulfur. MB840 or something like that. Sunning. You got the last five guns of oil I bought cost? What? $225. That's it? Get two? For five gallons. Yeah, that was years ago. I'm down about five gallons after 10 years. I need to restock. that finishes. It's all torn metal. So you can see a gasket imprint in there. Mm -hmm. That's how little I actually cut off. That's a horrible finish though. 
Yeah, that bit's very dull. Somebody should have sharpened that before they cut that with that. Should have known better. How come you didn't know better? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. That's how I wound up in this problem in the first place. It does appear to be dull. I think somebody's cutting some steel with that and took a big chunk off right there. Can you see that? Yeah, I want you to get a little closer. Is that dull enough? Yes. That's probably why the finish sucks. Not sure if that one's any better. How about that side? Oh, that side's broken. It's gone too. What do you get so close for? Well, you get close. You see it's on. That one's better. Let's take a chunk missing out of it. Look at that. Yeah. Somebody abused the cutter. Was it you? Oh, the other one's bad too. Was that one you too? Maybe. Might have been. The big chunk on that piece right there. Big chunk on this one right here. Oh, that's a lot better now. Huh? Now it's just a little bit dull. Just a little dull. I'm going to hold big chunks of this out of it, see. Can you get any closer? <laughs> It'll still cut, though. See ya. All right. I think it'll cut now. It'll cut better than it did. Let's put it out. But now i got to cut more off. Is that bad? I don't know how much compression you want. Enough to go fast? Oh, well, whatever that is. <laughs> I knew a thousand and a half. Different. 
another foul. Starting to get tight. One more foul. Pierce not want to go in there now. Mm -hmm. So now we're foul. Foul in the Look at that. We'll make a change in the angle. Oh, that thing's definitely move. So this direction. How much improvement do you want? A vast improvement. A vast improvement. A vast improvement. Now you do realize that this head's got higher compression than the other head. Okay. But the valves are also sunk deeper, so it equalizes. Okay. Self-correcting. Okay, we're going to give it one more. And a half down. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if it's any better. I wish it was Christmas again. Yeah. Well, no. I got my safety glasses on. I hate Christmas. That's a big cut. There's a lot of metal coming off of there. Dude! A little smoother. Can't pass for it. Smidgen? That's a snowflake. Uh, that might be slightly better finish than the last one. Oh, yeah. I see the shine in it. It's going to fall over. Oh, who hit the camera? Knock it off center. Over here anyway. Look at that. Of course that's the look at the shininess in the cutter now. You see the reflection in the light now. See? Oh, we're picking up the cross hatch right there and you want to see too. That's your witness mark saying it cuts correctly. That tells me our mill is straight. I guess I didn't really know that. See, that's what a sharp cutter does. Yeah. I feel a little bit better than the last time? Yep. 
you know, look, you said feel, not look at it. Mm. So it feel, oh, yeah. feels a little different. Doesn't have that, that sandpaper effect, like over here, a little bit, a little rougher there. Yeah, it might be a little bit better than what we had before. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice finish there. Okay, now we can put this up higher. Who's gonna take that out? Um, you. Nice how much torque I had on that. Mm -hmm. See the torque? Not much. That's all you use. You don't need any more than what you need. Mm -hmm. Any more than what you need works things. The trick is to know how much, is, how little you can get away with. That's the trick part. sure it's got stains on it. I'll have to get some new ones now. We got them. Any snowflakes in my hair? Yes. Is that danger? Probably both. Okay. Alright, that looks heavy. Big metal pizza. It's a big something. It's homemade too. I made it all by myself. Did you make that? Yep. I took that piece and that piece and I glued them together. Perfect. Of course, I had to machine them to fit each other too. The trick was to make it square. Because when you go out 10 inches mm -hmm. without air, it goes like this a lot. Mm -hmm. The further you get from center, the more it cocks up. Yep. So uh, trying to hold a thou with my karaoke equipment is pretty good. Compound error. Well, you have to compensate for the compound error. Mm -hmm. That'd be compound lack of error. <laughs> Looks pretty flat. Looks pretty flat. Mirror finish. Put a hole in my paper. It's like a brand new head. Better than new. Better than new. Better than new. Is it better than a new Buell head? It's like a Buell head. It's got big valves. It's got big ports under it. I just have to make the ports bigger underneath. No, yeah, we can do that. Yep, that's the next thing to play with. You also have to fix this combustion chamber. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? We're going to have to grind it away. Mm -hmm. Do you have your pattern of what you're supposed to grind to? The other head. This will be welded right there. I can't see it. Look well, how much has damaged over there is yours. When that goes away, it's probably good. Hmm. Look how I did it. It's not very even though, so. It might take more than that, we're not sure. There you go. Grind that away. With a what? With a grinder. With a grinder, okay. A dull rat tail file. Hmm. How's exhaust for it? Ew. Huge. Need some work on that too. I just have to eyeball that one because I don't have time to screw with it. How about the intake port? It's tiny. I know you don't have a manifold, so I don't know how big it is. Yeah. Feel that lip in there? So they pinch it way down. Oh yeah. See, it's a lot bigger. 
The port's mm -hmm. a lot bigger than a pole here is because it's pinched. Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. We're down here and you come way out to this. So you cut that whole thing away, it makes it flow a lot better. Mm -hmm. If you know how big to cut it, which we don't. All right, that's it for now.